hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to mechanical behavior or properties of uh, materials and in the previous videos we discussed about various uh, concepts related to the testing of the various mechanical properties of materials such as toughness hardness creep fatigue uh, and uh, various other uh, concepts so in this video we are going to discuss about another important uh, concept related to the mechanical behavior of metals which is super plasticity okay so like i said in all the previous videos everything every almost every mechanical behavior which we have discussed until this point it is in one way or the other related to the concept of stress and strain and the stress strain curve so here also the concept of stress and strain will come so we know that when stress or load is applied on a material or a component it undergoes deformation that is change in length and cross sectional area that is strain it undergoes strain stress uh, stress produces strain so this uh, this whole phenomena of uh, change in the dimensions of the material physical dimensions is called as deformation so deformation is of two types uh, reversible or recoverable and irreversible or non recoverable so the reversible one is called as elastic deformation and the irreversible one is called as plastic deformation so the super plasticity concept is associated with this plastic deformation so this uh, whole concept of elasticity and plasticity okay return the ability of the materials to return to their original state which is called as elasticity after unloading and unable to return to their original state which is called as plasticity it is uh, analyzed with the help of the stress strain curve now we are interested in plastic deformation so before we discuss super plasticity there are two important things which should which we should discuss which are related to deformation so when a material undergoes deformation it means it gets elongated because of the stress so there is a change in the length and the percentage of elongation that is calculated as per this formula that is final length after deformation minus initial length by initial length into 100 and another thing is the reduction in area as the length increases the cross sectional area decreases so it is uh, initial area minus final area by initial area so this is because of tensile stress if it is compressional it is opposite that is length will decrease cross sectional area will increase okay it will be an increase in area so this is because of tensile stress length will increase area will decrease and because of compressional stress length will decrease area will increase we have already discussed that so where does super plasticity come so it has been found that a lot of many metals which fall in the ductile category which means that uh, it uh, undergoes sufficient plastic deformation or elongation after which fracture occurs that is the ductile behavior of materials that is they can undergo more and more elongation withstanding a lot of stress values and after that they undergo fracture which uh, separates them from brittle materials which uh, undergo fracture at much lower values of stress and elongation so in super plasticity is the concept that when they are operated uh, the when stress is applied on them at normal temperature okay at normal operating temperatures they undergo less deformation or less elongation okay when they are operated when stress is applied on them at lower or normal temperatures they undergo less elongation or less plastic deformation but when they are 
subjected to stress levels at much higher temperatures okay at much higher temperatures they undergo more defor plastic deformation or more elongation so the ability to elongate more or undergo more plastic deformation at higher temperature values that is called as super plasticity okay they are called as uh, super plasticity for example normal steel it undergoes 22% elongation before fracture in tensile test okay so when uh, the temperature in increase the ability to elongate also increases by several factors several factors up almost 200% so for example a certain titanium alloy which has the following specification it elongates or undergoes plastic deformation of about 12% when it is uh, subjected to tensile test at normal room temperature but when the same alloy is subjected to tensile test at high temperature of about 840 degree celsius to 870 degree celsius and the loading rate the stress uh, rate is low the rate of increase of stress it's low they elongate as much as 750 to 1170% uh, okay so this concept of uh, increase in the plastic deformation when a metal is subjected to tensile test at high temperatures and slow load loading rate is called as super plasticity so super plasticity is the ability of metal alloys some metal alloys especially aluminum and titanium alloys to undergo more plastic deformation up to 2000% at elevated temperatures and slow loading rates so in order to achieve or to exploit this property of super plasticity many uh, metal processing operations are performed at very high temperatures and slow loading rates to achieve higher deformation okay higher elongation so as we increase the temperature and decrease the loading rate slow loading rate the elongation or plastic deformation it increase so we are enhancing the ductile behavior of the metals okay they are ductile in nature but we are enhancing this property the ductile behavior of uh, Uh, that particular metal when we subject it to tensile test at high temperatures and slow loading rates but there has uh, there are certain operating conditions for super plasticity the material should be should be of ductile nature and they should have very fine grain size up to 5 to 10 micrometer and highly strain rate sensitive and they the the temperature to which they are subjected to it should be very high okay greater than 50% of the melting point temperature of the metal and the loading rate it should be very 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 less slow okay these are the operating conditions for super plasticity so super plasticity is enhancing the ductile behavior of certain metals by operating them at higher temperatures more than 50% of the melting point temperature and slow loading rate enhancing their ductile behavior so that they undergo more and more elongation okay so this is the concept of super plasticity in metals okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much